Hi everyone, this is our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for February 6, 2025. Uh, during the past week, episode 8 of Kilauea's sub eruption began on Monday night, lasted 21 and a half hours, and ended on Tuesday night. The fountains peaked over 100 meters, or 330 feet high, and covered more than half of Halemaumau crater floor. Um, fountaining began first at the north vent, and then the south vent joined in about two hours later, and then they shut off in that same order. North vent shut off first, 15 minutes ahead of the south vent. As the volcano shut off, it's resumed the signals that are typical of the pauses. So we expect the volcano to recharge and presumably resume its eruption. And if the inflation rate that currently is, uh, is seen holds steady, the next episode will most likely be between this coming Saturday and next Tuesday. So over the next few days and within the next week here. So what you're seeing is a view from the KW camera showing the loop of this eruption onset and the spreading of lava flows across the crater floor. You can see that the area covered in the crater floor is larger than we've seen in previous pulses. We had glow before the onset began, high fountains. Some of that produced Pele's hairs that blew into nearby areas. But mostly the show was contained within a caldera and within a crater of Halemaumau, feeding lava flows across the floor and oozing out towards the far end of the crater as well. To see that in thermal view, here is that full sequence once again. Mm -hmm. So the uh, brighter area is being hotter, and you see some overturning of the pond and lava areas, uh, even as the fountaining has ended. Seen from the S2 camera that looks directly at the vents, we see the outburst from the north vent first, followed by the south vent, and then shut off close to the same time before glow continues to persist on the crater floor where the lava pond has cooled and is exposed its glowing interior. One last thing to note from the web cameras, from the B2 camera, once again, we've detected this pulse of lava feeding across the crater floor beneath the surface. You can see this loop from Monday evening as that pulse came across the crater floor here. So interesting to note that lava is still filling that entire area near the surface, but just below the surface as well. We have the eruption still fully contained in the southwest part of Halemaumau Crater. And images produced this week with thermal cameras in the middle of the eruption look like this. So there is that half of the Halemaumau Crater floor that's being covered uh, at a certain point during eruption with events still active here. Our tilt meter at the summit has shown uh, some power issues. So we rely on a sand hill tilt meter today. And you can see it's tracking the deflation corresponding to episode eight, as well as the subsequent reinflation we've had since. So here we are in a recharge, and looks like it'll take a while before we reach back to that same threshold to resume the eruption once again. Looking further across the volcano, everything looks fairly quiet seismically, very few earthquakes on either rift zone, just a south flank background events that are fairly common even when the volcano is recharging with magma here. So the USGS update for today notes the end day of the, of the pause, February 4th at 7.23 p.m. And they note that there is no unusual activity along either rift zone, as well as noting that there is uh, likely to be 10,000 tons per day of sulfur dioxide during the eruption and 1,000 tons per day during the current pause. This is significant because this is caught on a satellite. Once again, here's from the uh, satellite view of the SO2 plume. And if we look at our VOG dashboard, which is just looking at the output from the volcano, we still have some VOG being produced uh, as we have still above background rates of emissions during these pauses. If we look more widespread at purple air, we can see there are VOG impacts across not just Hawaii Island, but further afield, perhaps to Maui and beyond as well. And if we just take a quick look at this windy.com, SO2 satellite loop, you can see all this red and orange is the sulfur dioxide in the area. And our winter weather patterns are really keeping this stuff circulating around Hawaii Island. So you can see there's like a swirl and we can potentially expect VOG impacts to continue through the weekend um, up until the next episode may maybe adds more 
gas to the mix here. So that's the update on Kilauea. Mauna Loa has been as quiet as, as normal. Here are the very few earthquakes, 15 at the summit over the last week, all of them very low magnitude. Earthquake rates are still quite low following the eruption in the end of 2022. And nothing we've seen since then has matched the recharge, or has matched the buildup to that eruption in 2022. So we're just in a recharge phase right now. As we can see, the ground still very slowly rising at Mauna Loa summit as magma fills below. And that's our Hawaiian Volcano Summary for this week.